help you? Why is it lately, every time I film, you want to be up here? You're so sweet. Are you going to help mommy unbox? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I have a helper. This is Gambit. Can you say hi, Gambit? You're wearing my hair. Give it back. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, excuse how I look. I was up all night with a terrible migraine and it just recently started to like subdue, which was very convenient because as my headache was subduing, I heard the delivery of this, my July BoxyCharm box, which I'm really excited to unbox for you guys today. This is quickly becoming my favorite video to make. I love surprises. Um, I love BoxyCharm. And I love getting makeup. So this is this is amazing. If you want to know information about what BoxyCharm is, please look down in my description. I always butcher it when I try to explain it. In essence, it's a subscription box that comes every month. There are opportunities for upgrading and yeah, I think four to five full-size products for over a value of $100. It costs $21. That's kind of the gist, but I'll put like links and more detailed information down below. I already broke the seal because I didn't want to try to do that on camera and end up cutting a finger off or something. Um, but ooh, it's already starting to fall out. So this is what it looks like. It is already falling out. Hold on. So this is what it looks like on the inside. The first thing that I see that I've already dropped on the floor is a coupon from the Skin Bar at Ulta and Elemis. It's for a flash facial between July 7th and August 3rd for $10. Wow. I've never had anything professionally done to my face. Wow. Cool. I might even vlog that you guys. That might be a whole adventure. All right. So if you're getting the BoxyCharm box, I think this is something that everybody is getting. Then also we have the card that tells us exactly what this theme is. And it's au uh, natural, au uh, natural, au uh, natural. I don't know how to speak um, French. I actually took French, but only a couple of years and I forgot everything except for the bad words. And so on the back, it tells you everything that you got. It gives you a price point, but I'm not going to look at that right now. What I am going to look at is this. This is from Elemis Super Food Vita Vital Veggie Mask. <laughs> It reminds me of Lucille Ball when she's like, what is it? The Vitamita Vegemin commercial? <laughs> the answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vitamita Vegemin. This is part of their advanced skincare line. Ah, I'm so excited. What does it say? Feed the skin with this versatile super green mask formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils. Broccoli seed oils? What are broccoli seed oils? Broccoli is like my favorite vegetable. Uh, rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Um, vitamin C, passion fruit acids help brighten for a fresh looking complexion. Fine. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on. And this is why. Because I want to put this on my face. If I can open it. Okay, kids, look away. Don't ever use your teeth to open anything. It smells delicious. We'll see once it gets on my face because that's exactly what I thought about the pharmacy honeymoon honeymoon glow and that stuff smells like butt. Next is this Luxie. I don't know how to say that word. Gai 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 G-A-E-A, -E okay? And it says, unleash your true beauty by being kind to the earth. Please keep our planet beautiful by recycling this package. You guys, everybody should start doing more minimalistic packaging. This is, first of all, cute. I thought they were giving me incense. Second of all, um, yeah, let's save our environment. This is awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys how much the Elemis was. Elemis, get a shot of green goodness, nourishes, smooths, brightens for a softer, smoother, more radiant skin. MSRP $35, which it feels, it feels hefty. It's a good, like weighted, I don't know, it feels full, if that makes any sense. I didn't waste any money and space on fancy packaging. And neither did Luxie. I love Luxie brushes. We've had them. Well, other people who've been with the, the subscription for a lot longer has had Luxie br brushes. I can't speak um a lot more often than me however this is only my second Luxie set um i got a set in april i believe it was so it comes with these three really cute brushes i don't know if you guys can see what they look like but they're a really pretty pastel pink they almost look like an unfinished wood 
but more like a dyed unfinished wood. And they're really pretty and they're really nice. So what you get is a large eye blending brush, which this feels like really, really big. Uh, thankfully, I have big eyes, but I think if you have smaller eyes than mine, this might be too big. So this was the Luxie 250, and this is the Luxie 256 Precision Crease. How is this a crease brush? I'm maybe like if you were doing a cut crease, but with my giant eyelids, I would be here for days. Uh, my favorite crease brush is this one, which is also by Luxie. I love to use this one to um, to cut my crease, and you can see it's slightly bigger, which works with my super large eyelids. This one might be good for like detail work or like doing the inner corner or like maybe even like lining the lower lash line. Maybe I could even like finely contour my nose so that it doesn't look broken all the time. Then this is the Luxie 510 foundation brush. I don't like brushes like this for my foundation and I feel like <laughs> I'm painting a fence or something. Especially like look how big my forehead is. How long would it take to paint foundation on my face? I do love these for face masks which is exactly what we're going to use when we do the Elemis face mask. Oh, it says create your perfect look with your new eco-friendly Luxie brush set, um, $30. If you have not tried Luxie brushes, they are some of the softest brushes that I have ever, ever used. And they just feel so durable and so nice. And they're really pretty. I love like this rose gold, um, feral on top. And then this, this faux, possibly real pink wood. It's just cute. And then underneath... We have these items. It looks like only two in the viewfinder, but I actually have three. Let's look at this one first. This is the Appeal Gel Liner in Forest Green. And it's got a wonderful little plastic tag thing that I'm supposed to try to figure out how to peel off. Okay. Look away again, kids. MSRP $21. Really? $21 for a gel liner? Um, oh, I was expecting it to be like a wood base, but it's not. So that's kind of cool. <gasps> wow, that's really creamy, you guys. That's a really pretty color. Okay, I'm curious about something. I gotta see something. I have this ColourPop lipstick that I got. It is Dr. M, but I got this around St. Patty's Day? I don't know. It was one of the things that I really thought that I would use that I actually never have used because I really feel like it needs a liner. That might be a good liner for this lipstick. If you guys have Dr. M, which I know somebody out there who actually does have Dr. M. I watch her YouTube videos and she gets BoxyCharm as well. I really hope she gets this pencil. This is by Alamar Cosmetics. Um... Desnude as lip gloss. Desnude ass. Okay, all right, that's fine. Desnude ass. A uh, long wearing thickening formula that conditions the lips while delivering high shine and full pigmentation. Wear it alone or, or over our new des desnude. Can't speak. Don't know Spanish either. And I got it in the shade Dolce. 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 The packaging is really pretty. I thought it was going to be like this deep brown, but it's actually ombre. So the collar is down there it looks very peachy nude oh that feels thick you guys that feels super oh my gosh this is this doesn't feel it doesn't feel great the wand is kind of interesting so it's clear and then on this side there's like this divot um that has fuzzies around it and then it's plastic i don't know if you guys can see that but then on this side, it's all fuzzies. So I don't know if like one applies better than the other. That is the part with like the little cutout and then that's the part with the fuzzies. I feel like that applied a lot smoother. This kind of like skipped, it looks, looks weird. And that retails for $15. Finally, it is the Butter London, I guess I can look at the card natural goddess eyeshadow palette it feels really nice because it has like that faux wood look i thought it was going to feel really light and it was going to feel really fake which doesn't feel like real wood or anything but it just feels really sturdy so it's got like the faux wood and then it's got these little 
flowers all painted on it. Oh, and look, like, they're like little gems instead of like petals and stuff. Cute. Oh, and there's cute little bugs. There's a little beetle there. I think that's a little a little fly. I don't know. So it's some flowers with some friends and some gems. And oh, this is pretty. You have four shimmers, two mattes. Um, definitely, definitely very neutral. Serving queendom realness, bring out your inner goodness, <laughs> goddess. <laughs> In Butter London's vibrant natural goddess eyeshadow palette. Enchant with six highly pigmented, long-lasting shades. Whether you're feeling like a diva or a temptress, these cruelly free shades, shadows, pair effortlessly to create imaginative looks that will make a powerful entrance. And this MSRP is $32. I've never had anything by Butter London. I don't know why I expected it to smell like butter, okay? That was, that was weird. Alright, Femme Fatale. Temptress. Ooh, that's really pretty. And Diva. I'll just use my pants, wet my hand off on. No problem. Then there's Star. Queen. Enchantress. So there are the swatches. That is actually really pretty. Okay, so it's a very neutral palette, but I feel like it still has like a lot of coolness to it. You know what I mean? Like it's pretty rad. So let's put this Elemis. Superfood Vital Veggie Mask on my face and see exactly what it does. I don't know why I expected it to be a super green shade. It's barely green, like maybe a mint. And it looks kind of like your regular clay mask texture. Hi. It smells really earthy, but like in a good way. Like an earth, um, like an earth fair or like a Whole Foods. Okay, so that is on my face and my cat is busy getting beautiful with me too. So love that. Couples goals, right? Couples goals. I probably should have read the directions before putting it on my face. Apply the mask twice weekly on cleansed skin. A slight tingling may occur while the mask works its magic. Remove after 10 minutes with a damp, dark cloth. A damp, dark cloth? Okay, we can do that. Um, oh, it may stay in fabrics. That's okay because I stay in all my fabrics. So I'm one step ahead of you. I got it. I'm going to go wait 10 minutes and let this mask do its magic while I contemplate what I'm going to do with this eyeshadow palette and also eat some food. And hopefully I still have skin. Hopefully it looks better, but I will see you guys shortly. So I'm back after struggling with my ring light because Mercury is a little bitch and She's really screwing with me right now with it being, you know, all mercury retrograde and everything. But yeah, anybody else having an issue with migraines or electronics, like screwing up on them or I don't know, no motivation. There's my Starbucks. I lost my Starbucks. I was looking for her. We're going to take this off of my face. This is what it looks like. It <laughs> kind of dried down to a really weird consistency like it's dried it's invisible in some areas and uh, it's a weird look okay my face never burnt it never tingled which kind of disappoints me because when something says it's gonna tingle I expect it to tingle okay stimulate my skin make me feel like I'm on fire um that's how I judge whether or not my skincare products are good does it make my skin burn <laughs> no then it's no good I am being a rebel and I'm actually going to use a white cloth to rub this off my face so that we can see if it stains and if it does stain, how much and what color, you know, because it's barely green. Now I feel a little bit of a tingle around my nose. Thank you, face mask. I've been waiting for that. Abuse my face. Set it on fire. It came off pretty well. It's a little bit thick, a little bit thick. <laughs> Is that my rap name? I don't know if there's a residue. Oh yeah, there definitely feels to be a residue. Either that or is that just my new skin? Is it just that soft and smooth? So let's look at my face. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like. Are you scared yet? Are you scared? Okay, too close, too close. My pores look smaller. Granted, I have pores the size of China, so I don't feel like it's that hard to like shrink them temporarily. 
I don't know. I think I like it. All right, now I'm going to actually eat and I'm also gonna go do my base face makeup and we're gonna come back. Still have not decided what I'm doing with this, but when I come back, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna put it on my eyeballs. I'll be back. My base face is done and we are now going to move on to the part of this video that is going to terrify me the most. You guys, I don't know if eyeshadow fear is a real thing, but I have eyeshadow fear. I feel like, especially when I do my makeup first, it's like, if I make one wrong move, I have to start completely over and I just don't have that kind of energy. And I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with these shadows. So yeah, I don't know. Let me just bring you guys in a little bit closer. Uh, that's close enough. All right. Um, I mean, these are the only two mattes that they gave me and then they have the four shimmers. I feel like there needs to be one more matte, like, like a lighter matte brown. I just don't feel like there's really a transition shade. I really want to use this shade as a transition shade, Femme Fatale, but I'm just afraid I'm gonna screw it up, you guys. I'm really nervous. Oh, and thankfully, all of my brushes are nice and dirty. I forgot to wash those last night. Whoops, I didn't know I was getting this today. What do I wanna do? Guys, I wanna do a halo eye. I feel like halo eyes are the eyes that I screw up the least. I wanna be daring and I wanna use this Femme Fatale, but I don't have enough faith in myself, but we're just, we're just gonna try it. We're gonna try it. So I'm gonna use this and try not to screw up my life just a little bit of shadow okay um, wow it is actually pretty pigmented i don't like this mirror you guys it is too small for my large eyes so i'm gonna go back to my pineapple All right, so there is Femme Fatale. I really want to use this green shade, but I don't know if the green shade will look good next to the teal. No. So what about the teal shade next to this rose gold shade? All right, that's kind of pretty. The teal shade and the rose gold shade, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Without putting down concealer, we're just gonna try it like this. Um, okay, so this is where I have eyeshadow fear, and I don't know if I should stop and start over or if I should keep pushing through. So I guess I'm going to try to use this teeny tiny detail brush to pick up this temptress shade. It's this matte brown, and I'm going to try to deepen the inner and outer corners so that, I don't know, maybe it looks more finished. All right, I think that is as good as the top of my lid is going to get. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the Luxie brush again, but I'm gonna get the brown shade and just buff it along my lower lash line. And then kind of to blend that out, I'm going to take this pencil brush by BH Cosmetics. It's number 11. It's part of their, um, this line, whatever that is, their festival, their newest festival line. And I'm going to take the Femme Fatale, that turquoise -y color, the matte color, and I'm going to try just to blend the brown out just slightly. Okay, so that is what I have going on so far. It looks a little crazy, but we're just gonna keep moving. I love how like your inner corner highlight can bring your whole eye look together. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my eyeliner. I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna line my lash line with a 
This goes on so smooth. I'm gonna do my lash line and my waterline. Also going to tight line. All right, check it out. This is what I have going on so far. It's very far from perfect, but I'm really liking it so far. I'm going to do lashes and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so here's my final look. Um, I ended up picking what felt like spiky, unnecessarily dramatic lashes. Like, I haven't even put on a bra yet. I'm gonna stay home. I'm probably just gonna watch YouTube. I might get myself downstairs to play, like, Tomb Raider. I might get really crazy and make dinner. So, yeah. But anyway, this is my final eye look. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I think that this turquoise uh teal whatever shade is really pretty with blue eyes i'm guessing it's going to be a really pretty color with brown eyes as well but it's really making my blue eyes pop okay so we are down to just one more product and that is the alamar lip gloss which i'm a little bit afraid of using simply because it is so freaking thick and i hate thick glosses i'm hoping it's not sticky but i guess we're gonna see I don't know. I'm going to use the side that has like the little divot without the fuzzies to see if that maybe helps. Oh, it's very, very thick. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Okay. Honestly, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do like the collar, especially now that I have like my face products on. I don't like brown nudes. I feel like this has a little bit of a peachy undertone to it. It definitely like looks really good with the center of my eyes. Love that. Honestly, I like it. Um, It is thick if you put it on lightly. And I do feel like you can have more control if you use the side that has the little divot. If, but if you put it on lightly, I feel like you have more control and it's going to go on just a little bit thinner and it's not going to feel quite as thick and quite as sticky. It is sticky. Like, my hair is 100% going to get stuck in this. But it feels like it's going to have lasting power. So maybe, like, pull your hair up and you're going to wear this. I like it. I honestly do like it. And I found out that this is a brand new um, lip product that, like, just came out a couple of days ago. So thank you, BoxyCharm, for trusting me with such a cool product and letting me be the one to be, not the one, but be one of the ones to get it first. With it being called Dulce or Dolce, I expected it to have like a caramel smell, especially since it kind of has like that caramel shade. It smells like nothing. Not chemicals, not cake, not lemonade, not pineapple, nothing. Nothing. Let me back you guys up just a little bit. I think that this box was a really good box. I like it. I'm glad that we were able to get mostly like a complete eye look with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow palette. I think BoxyCharm killed it. And so... Good job, BoxyCharm. I cannot wait to see what next month brings us. Um, so yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I really had a fun time trying things on. I typically don't. I just show you what I got and then move along my life. Um, so I'm gonna try to do more of this in my videos. It does make my videos longer, especially since I babble on and on and on forever. But yeah, please make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell, and tell me, what was your guys' favorite product in this BoxyCharm? And if you guys have not signed up, definitely go check out the description, because I do have a link that you guys can follow, and you can go sign up yourself, and then next month we can unbox together. All right, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Continue having a good day. Hopefully, have a great weekend if I get this up before the end of the weekend. So. Bye.